So green is formal. Sounds like a process means business, and you can even hear the hard drive down and making some serious sounds. But most of the old data is still there, and it's reading accessible using fairly common recovery tools. The data remains on the hard drive, and it can be re recovered with the the right software. Overwriting data. Software overwriting is a method in which the hard drive is completely written over with a random data three times overwriting. Software overwriting is a method in which the hard drive is completely written over with random data three times. The U.S. Department of Defense, that is DOD Department of Defense, actually requires drives. Okay to be written over uh, three times because there may be problem with calling like infectiveness the override procedure then equipment failure such as uh, miss um, you can say read write hand miss uh, math, miss spelling yeah miss matching the of read write hits then inability or to override bad uh, sector of factors of data in a, in a internal record gaps okay so and degassing, degassing use the machine that procedure a strong electronic magnetic field and destroy the information stored on the hard drive IP. Also destroy other component of hard drive. The third party companies uh, buy the equipment and perform the work, but but uh, this uh, can lead to chain of cost uh, to the issue. Mechanical uh, shredding is one of the process. Old hard drive are fail into the share. Means you can say that they can they are turned into the gasification pieces. Okay, gasification. So there is a no way to recover from secure errors. Really, there is a no way to recover from secure errors. Okay, so you need to know how to create DOS, DOS, boot stick. And load uh, extract HDDT uh, dot exe onto the boot stable floppy disk. Boot the computer from floppy. Make sure the boot uh, priority setting is currently applied in your system BIOS. Type of uh, headers at the system promote. All uh, ATA hard drives connect to the system will be displayed. Make sure the jumpers on the hard disk. Are correctly configured. That is, don't set in jumper jumpers to CS cable select means they should be set master or slave. Com complete the utility. So pros and cons of method. Each method has its own advantages and disadvantages. Some are speedy and some are inexpensive. Some are slow and some are unreliable. Uh, means unreliable. When uh, we give the third party the compositions one should be confident about picking up company so requirement like destroy data beyond the uh, recovery software uh, solution then control the pro of the process okay so cd and dvds uh, what are the goods uh, based on about cd cd and dvds okay cd and dvds DVDs, DVDs. So, why means a uh, good and bad about CD? Compact disc, that is the CD is nothing but compact disc, is a digital optical disc data storage format co developed uh, by uh, Philips and Sony. Okay, they, uh, the format was originally developed to store and play only sound recording. But it was later adapted for storage of data CD-ROM. Several other formats were further divided from this, include write ones, audio and data storage, CDR, CDRW, write readable media, video compact discs like VCD, super video compact discs like SVCD, then photo, CD pictures, CD, uh, CDI, and enhance the mu music CD. Audio CD players have been commercially available since 1983 when the first commercially available CD player was released in Japan. 
So in 2000, more uh, than more compact discs were operating worldwide. In 1983, 80,000 CDs were sold. Each month, more than 45 tons of CD become obsolete. Each year, 55 uh, millions of CD go for landfill or uh, people throw away the CDs, right? Though because of crash and break. Then bad about CD. CD and DVD are made from different kinds of uh, aluminum and something, uh, something gold. Most of their com compositions is made by, uh, you can see the plastic, which does not uh, readability break down and will be around the hundred of years. CD and DVDs to landfill is a bad, uh, bad uh, idea because in addition to being around off for a long time, they, are, they can release uh, burning discs in another food choice because they release toxin fumes. So good about CD, recycling is available, but it is not easy as putting your organization CD and DVDs out. With the glass, <laughs> recycle will be take the discs uh, to re reclaim the high quality plastic some CDs and DVDs contain. 20 millions of gold, which is another uh, can be reused. Change your mindset. User re uh, Rewritables, DVD and CD media. If the information on the disc is available on the net, then do not buy CD. Keep away your CD for heat, water and discrete sunlight. So here we have complete our third unit. Uh, in next uh, lecture, we will see fourth unit that is hardware consideration. We will see in the uh, next lecture. Uh, today's chapter is about hardware consideration. This is your fourth unit, eighth chapter. So in this, we're going to see, we're going to cover the... Uh, today's chapter is about hardware consideration. This is your fourth unit, eighth chapter. So in this, we're going to see, we're going to cover the certification program like EPRT, ROHS, Energy Star, computers, monitors, printers, scanners, all in ones like this. So certification program. So in this chapter, hardware certification is a process through which computer hardware is tested to sure the low level of carbon emission. This section looks for common certification program and how you can use them to your benefits. Okay, so this is your chapter. Okay. So in this, the in certification program, in this hardware certification is the process through which a computer hardware is tested to sure the low level of carbon emission. Okay, it means uh, it's tested to sure the low level of carbon emission. You know, uh, if carbon is emit uh, emitted uh, more than what will be happen, you know, it will be how study in my first lecture to up to all lecture, right? It's badly better on our environment. We have study about this all. So, <coughs> okay. So this section looks for common certification program and how you can use the uh, them to your benefit. So here the first program is like EP it EP that is nothing but uh, electronic. Okay, electronic. Just one minute. EPT. E for electronic. E for product. This is the one of the program. Okay. E electronic product. Environment. Environmental. Tool. So this is the EP, EP that is electronic product environmental assessment tool. Okay, so this is the one of the program. So EP means electronic product environmental assessment tool. Evaluate the electronic product according to 
three types. Okay, so it is evolving, evolving the electronic product, product according to the three types of environmental performance. So bronze, silver, and gold. Okay, means this three type means okay. Uh, इसमें क्या है means कौन सा हाँ यहाँ पे certification provide की जा रहा है means कैसे इन्वायरमेंट को सेव करके प्रोडक्ट का यूज करना और सिक्योरली मतलब बिना हार्मफुल वी कैन यूज द प्रोडक्ट वी कैन मैन्युफैक्चर आर यूनिट लाइक सो दिस विल बी मीन सो वो बेस करता है फर्स्ट ब्रॉन्ज सिल्वर एंड गोल्ड दिस टाइप ऑफ थ्री टायर्स इन्वायरमेंटल परफॉर्मेंस होगी ओके सो इट्स अ फ्री एंड ट्रस्टेड सोर्स ऑफ इन्वायरमेंटल प्रोडक्ट then uh, rating that makes it easy to select high performance electronic that meet an organization it and uh, goals sustainability goals so manufacturer register product based on the device ability to meet various criteria develop and agree upon by diverse skeleton stakeholders to address the full uh, life cycle of an electronic product so here certification level like bronze okay so product meets all required criteria so agar bronze agar uh, unko uh, bronze ka certificate dena bronze okay so yahan pe kya hoga uh, product meets all uh, required criteria jo bhi unko criteria agar required agar wo uh, sab milti hai usse mil, so it will be bronze certification level then silver for silver Product meets all required criteria plus at least fifty percent of op optional criteria that apply to the product type being registered. Means optional criteria be होना चाहिए and all criteria be होना चाहिए then you will be get silver certification. And if you product all meets all the required criteria then it will be um, certificate level will be bronze. And uh, what about gold here? So in gold, just one minute, gold. So in this goal, uh, product meets all required criteria. Okay. So in silver also product uh, in three uh, certification level the product uh, should be meets all the required criteria. But if uh, you want means uh, silver um, certification level then at least fifty uh, percent means uh, with criteria plus uh, means all required criteria. Uh, process plus at least fifty percent of the optional criteria that apply to the product type being registered, and in gold uh, certification level, the product meets all all required criteria plus at least seventy five percent of the of optional criteria that apply to the product type being registered in silver fifty percent and in gold seventy five percent. So this type of criteria uh, uh, there in EP eight. Okay, so what about the ROS? RSH. This is the next uh, certificate level. I think so. Let's see. Discuss about ROS. ROS. Okay. So in ROS, uh, this is also certification program. So ROS is uh, is the full form of this. Full form. Just one minute. Full form of ROS is that is R four. Restrictions, restriction, restriction of hazards, substance. So substance. ROH is nothing but the restriction hazard substance restriction of hazard substance ROHS is a, a directive to effect on 1st July 2007 okay so this the directive restricts the use of hazards material lead mercury cadmium then uh, polar chromate okay in the manufacture of various type of electronic and electrical equipment uh, of rsh certified device are offered all over the world for example for example 
so here what the this directive means rsh is a restriction of hazard substance okay so in the you know sorry is a directive Uh, took effect on first July two thousand six. This are like uh, this is a uh, take uh, took efforts on first July two thousand six, right? First July two thousand six. So here the RSA restriction of hazard substance is a directive took effect on first July two thousand six. So. This is the directive. Okay, so restricted the use of hazardous material, like uh, you know very well hazardous means what this type of material like lead, mercury, cadmium, like right. So in the manufacture of various types of electronic and electronic equipment, you know very well because uh, lead, mercury is um, emitted by electronic product, right? So here, the so see this directive restricted the hazardous material like lead, mercury, cadmium. in the manufacture of various types of electronic and electrical equipment so ro certified device are offered all over the world for example you know very well toshiba right toshiba will build computers and lapi also you know very well this company toshiba that are lead free and meet uh, other ro such guidelines so this toshiba computer that are the lead free and meet other ro such guidelines so energy star now what does energy star certificate so this is about the ros certificate now the uh, next certificate is about energy star energy star so this is also a, uh, one of the certification program here so what does energy star certification so with uh, with an intent uh, intention to promote energy efficient to reduce greenhouse gas emission the usa uh, environment product agency that is the epa uh, so with an inten intention to promote the energy efficient and reduce greenhouse gas so okay there also intention to reduce the greenhouse gases okay uh, so here um, the usa environment production energy introduce energy star so this energy star is introduced by the Uh, here what is introduced uh, by us the so here introduce energy star voluntary labor labor program to design and identify such energy efficient product it started with computers and monitors and now has a range of product under its belt so the most well known program for certify find the energy efficient electronic in the united in uh, united state is environmental production energy that is epa so energy uh, the example star program so here the computer computers have been certified under the energy star program for year in 2007 the epa made energy star certification even more uh, strict in order to computer to be energy star certificate it must meet following requirement like product type so desktop integrate computer desktop drive server and a gaming gaming console so tier 1 requirement like standby of sleep mode 4.0 watt ideal state nothing categories of a that is 15.0 watt categories of b that is um, 6 5.0 okay so notebook and tab tablet stand uh, here sleep mode is uh, in notebook and tablet um, 1.7 ideal state nothing category is 14.50 this is the um, tier 1 requirement and product uh, type efficient power supply requirement so internal power supply is 80% minimum efficiency at 20% 50% and 100% of rated output and minimum power factor so external power supplies either energy star qualify or meet the no load and active mode efficient efficiency level provided in the energy star external power supply eps specification so the steps calculating t take on for monitor monitors energy star computer are 30 to 
more efficient so here monitors okay monitors so in here uh, the energy star computer are 30 to 70 percent more efficient as compared to um, equivalent non-energy star computer when you are uh, selecting monitors a great place to start is by examining models that are energy star qualified these monitors use 20 60 percent less electricity than monitors that are more, not energy star certified in order to compare the energy requirement of various computer based on normal operation we take into uh, account the amount of electricity consumed by them annually thus we determine take of computers by taking into account the power consumed by them in different mode that the amount of time t as of 6 uh, years 6 example 20, 2050 spent in that mode so energy star gives the following formula to determine take of computer like um take of computer like 8760 so it's into so here profit into profit into top p sleep okay middle of 10 p off then uh, please sleep t sleep ideal and ideal so this is a um, type of calculation here energy star qualified computer consumes the 30 70 less electricity as um, compared to the uh, computer of same configuration so based on the take energy star qualify uh, computers are categorized as follow like a uh, take uh, desktop and integration computer so notebook so here a suppose uh, here take desktop and integrated computer is uh, taking what even 48 in notebooks uh, it, uh, 40 so energy star certified computer delivers sustainable saving over standard models desktop integrated desktop no notebook laptop computers okay so workstation small uh, scale uh, ser server and thin client are uh, eligible Okay, each energy and uh, those that do are uh, now more efficient than ever in order to achieve an energy star uh, certification in on mode okay the maximum power is used in computer monitor resolution in sleep mode computer monitor consume two watts or less in off mode computer monitor must consume one watts watt or less we can save money by using energy star certificate monitors we can improve energy uses by installing energy efficient appliances cooling loads reduce reduction in peak load damage change if your utility charge extra during peak uh, demand time this amount is less waiting time for computer to boot is limited so printer scanners and all in one so printer scanner printer scanner okay scanner all in one all in ones okay so here just one minute all in one so it is a recommended to energy star started uh, means the star uh, energy star rated peripherals such as printer scanners and all in one device like computers and monitors these devices don't cost any more than non certified model but uh, they do use less energy laser printer use 25 percent less energy than regular print uh, printers always print on both sides of page which will save paper run cooler and last longer thus reducing the cost of air contributing uh, conditions and maintenance so 
25 percent less energy regular printers okay always print on both sides of page which will save paper then run cooler and last longer thus reducing the cost of air condition and maintenance so thin client so here we can use thin computers which will uh, relay on service for processing activities fat clients are the computers that normally sit on your user disk uh, this machine do most of processing and then transfer the results of the data to the server uh, thin clients usually run web browser or remote desktop software so what are the advantages having thin clients advantages of the clients thin clients that is less expensive terminal and administration cost so thin uh, client application tends to have much uh, of their complex business, business logic on the remote server because the thin client software is not capable running such logic so the advantages of thin client is that the client application tends to have much of their complex business logic on the remote server because the thin client software is not uh, capable of running such logic so security no data is stored on the thin client so the chance of thief of data is reduced so lower hardware calls thin client uh, tends uh, are less expensive than fat client because they do not um, contain disk drive application memory and high power processor efficiency in thin client memory can be shared if multiple user are using the same application it only needs to load it into the server ram once so uh, cpu cannot be idle for long time lower energy consumption thin clients use less energy than fat clients okay so easy hardware failure management uh, so if uh, a thin client fail it is easier to replace than a fat client uh, so there is uh, no need uh, needed uh, the transfer of recover the files so easy of upgrade if your system needs more computer power it is easier to add another uh, blade server to increase system resource to the level you need rather than having to upgrade in individual client so less noise because there are no fans in the thin clients no noise is generated so uh, thin clients can remain in service longer less disposed equipment thin clients can remain in service longer than fat clients so here uh, this is the uh, about thin clients so servers blender and server servers what the different ways to server at your workplace there are different ways that you can use your servers through configuration and virtualization one can reduce machines in organization Right. So there are the different ways that you can use your servers. Okay. So a blade server is a server housing multiple thin uh, modular electronic circuit board known as server blades. Each blade is a server in its own right, often dedicated to single application. The blade are uh, servers on a card containing processor memory. integrate network controller and op optional fiber channel host bus adapter and uh, input output host the main function of blade server is that it increases our organization data center capabilities without adding to its size so some benefit of server include like less space needed so blades take up, uh, up 35 to 45% percent less space than lower of track mounted server so reduction of power use uh, you reduce the power supplies needed lower management cost 
when you uh, you are server deployment management and administrator are simply and improve so console um, so this is about the premium this point so today's lecture is over here thank you